I'm Amanda Gunawan. I'm founding principal of OU Design and Inflection Builds, and we design the space. This space is my residence, and I spend a lot of time here. My design firm, we thrive in intentional design, purposeful design, and thoughtful design, and careful craftsmanship accompanied with that. And you're gonna see that throughout the entire space. The first stop on our tour is this guest bedroom. It doesn't look like a guest bedroom because the futon is actually stored under here. And this serves as a platform bed if I have a guest around. So what drew me to this loft was the natural light. On top of that, I saw the potential in being able to use colors and materials to kind of unify the space. Things like these Akari lights, they're like paper lanterns. The softness about it goes with the light colored wood that I picked out for this space. It evokes like a sense of like tranquility. I'm obsessed with tea. I drink matcha every morning and I make my own. And I also love ceramics. So when I travel, I actually collect ceramics and I have a shelf right over there. So even though I have all my ceramics over here, I usually make the tea in the kitchen. So let's go there and have a look. The kitchen was designed according to my lifestyle. I wanted a huge counter over here because I'm a big sushi fan. And I wanted something where I could easily serve sushi, kind of like a bar. So somebody could be prepping fish over here and be able to like just serve right there. Everything's kind of in a neutral palette. Even when it comes to materials and textures, it's very intentional. We wanted light woods, we wanted the grays, we wanted the beiges, so that nothing really screams out. Everything's kind of just like unified. The living room is the heart of the home and it keeps everything connected. Again, not only does it get the nicest natural lighting, it's also the largest space volumetrically. And that's because the living room is the space with this double volume height. This particular style of light, they're from Floss and I really like them because I'm allowed to really sculpt the entire ceiling, kind of like an art piece. So believe it or not, this building actually used to be the Nabisco Biscuit Company. The challenge for me was how do I soften the bedroom area given the industrial ruggedness of this building? So let's go upstairs and have a look. What I love about this space is that I put this together with my team with our bare hands and it's become such a personal project to us because we picked the wood, stained the wood, sanded the wood, so we feel a huge sense of pride even as we're like talking about it. I really love my books, so I made sure to create a lot of shelving. I wanted them to be seen from my bedroom. Waking up here every morning feels very calming. It feels like you're waking up in a hotel. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour of the Biscuit Loft and thank you for stopping by. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content, subscribe to Open House TV.